I've been a bike rider as far back as I could remember. As a kid, there was just something about those two wheels and handlebars. BMX, the three letters that took me to a place of joy. It was my endless fun. It was my escape. It was the catalyst that started my bike life. That single speed that kept it all simple, along with the chain that you could never get tight enough. Rim brakes that just slowed you down rather than stopped you. But it was all worth it for those moments of freedom. You and all your friends would ride for hours, going nowhere important, because it didn't matter. Because it wasn't about the destination, it was about living in the moment. And when I think back at those moments, there's nothing that can top those. It was all about getting home from school, getting on that bike, and cruising with the homies. But now, I'm 42 years old, I have responsibilities, I have bills to pay, I have a job I have to go to, I have a family. But even after all of that, there's just no way I could stop riding BMX bikes. I mean, sure, I'm definitely not gonna bounce back like I used to, and healing may take a little bit longer, but you have to ask yourself that question. And the question is, is it worth it? abso fucking lootly I'm a bike rider, and that stays with you for the rest of your life if you're a true rider. I believe if you keep riding, you'll always be able to ride. Legendary skateboarder Jay Adams once said, you didn't quit skateboarding because you got old, you got old because you quit skateboarding. And I believe bike life is the same. The beginning. It's crazy to me to think that BMX has been around since the 60s. We're talking about dudes out there on a 20 inch wheel, rigid frame, no pads, sometimes a helmet. Fast forward to 1972, where Mr. Gary Turner decides that he was gonna create GT bicycles. Growing up in Southern California, GT was the bike to have. Everybody wanted one, and I was no different. I believe I was in the third or fourth grade when the team of GT riders showed up at my school with a vert ramp and a bunch of awesome bikes. I remember watching that demo and not even knowing that that stuff was possible to do on a bicycle. And from that day forward, I knew that I had to have one of those cool chrome GT bicycles in my life, no matter what it took. Did I get one right away? Nope. Did I still want one? Absolutely. It took a while, but finally, one showed up in my life when I was about 14 years old. Mach 1. The GT Mach 1, the epitome of a chromed out race bike that was so sick. This wasn't just a BMX bike, this was the BMX bike to have. GT bikes were top notch, and that logo was infamous. Long cranks, a giant front chain ring, not like bikes today. And nothing says old school BMX like those blue skinny tires from back in the day. To me, this wasn't just a BMX bike. This was a work of art. They usually had those BMX pads on the top tube and the handlebars and the stem, but these bikes were just way too cool not to show off all that chrome. But if I want to be perfectly honest, trying to ride a 20 inch BMX bike today is kind of rough. So I decided it was time to upgrade. I present to you the GT Pro Performer Mandalorian BMX bike. This is a 29er big wheeled BMX bike. Pretty cool, right? Since I spend most of my time on 29er wheels on my mountain bikes, I figured this would be the next best thing to reintroduce myself back into the BMX lifestyle. Classic old school style mag wheels while still maintaining that old school look of a BMX bike. The GT Pro Performer 29 Mandalorian Edition is a special bike for GT. They reached out to Lucas Films to organize this collaboration, and they definitely built a one of a kind bike. The collaboration took almost four years, and it was well worth the wait, in my opinion. To me, this bike still has that classic GT vibe, especially because they kept that signature stamp in the frame. GT wanted to keep this bike limited and collectible, so there were only 700 of the bikes produced and packaged, with only 500 of the bikes being marked for sale to consumers. When I had seen this bike for sale, I reached out to GT to ask them if they would let me borrow it to do a video. Before this, I had never ridden a 29er BMX bike, but I figured being a SoCal kid and growing up in the area that GT was conceived, rooted in BMX, this would be a fun project to work on. I honestly think GT did a great job on this collaboration for the fact that this really does capture the essence of the Mandalorian show, which I truly thought was a great show. And at the same time, they still maintained making a super awesome bike that I enjoy riding. But enough with this talking. Let's go take this out for a bike life ride. Bike life. 
Welcome to Big Bike BMX. We're enthusiasts who love BMX bikes just as much as I do, who are out there killing it on bigger wheels. This is a whole new chapter in the BMX bike lifestyle. And I gotta say, it's one of the biggest, coolest families I've ever been introduced to. This is my homie Isaac. He's 51 years old, born and raised in NorCal, and now lives in Phoenix. He started riding bikes in 1980 and competed in BMX flatland contests in the 80s. And on top of that, he's also a Supercross BMX factory rider. Isaac started riding big BMX bikes in 2019, and the rest is history. He's been one of my bike life homies for the last couple of years, and I hit him up and said, yo, I want to know what this big bike lifestyle is all about. So he invited me out to go on a ride in Scottsdale, Arizona. Big wheel BMX bikes has shown me that the moment of being on that bike with the freedom is not dead. You can still relive it every single time you go out with a group of friends to ride bikes just like you were a kid. This community welcomed me in as if I was a part of the family from the beginning. And there's not a better feeling than that. So if you're someone like me who wants to relive those old glory days of being on that BMX bike, big wheel BMX bikes is where it's at. Go get yourself one, go join your local community, and have some fun pedaling around and reliving it. And remember, you're never too old to get out there and ride bikes.